If you don't care about vlogs, then this is the time of the video for you. If you're unfamiliar with how I train, my Instagram's name is Anklem Athletics, my name on here is Anklem Athletics, and I specifically chose Anklem Athletics because I want to remain just that, athletic. If you know my background, if you've watched my video kind of about how I got to the point I am now, which I will link below, I was going to play college football, and that was my plan going out of high school. So, going into my freshman year of college, I was planning to play football at UW Oshkosh, and things just fell through. Um, family health issues and just a number of things ultimately it was my decision and I am content with that so my camera actually died earlier so I had to charge it up and now I'm gonna kind of finish talking about what I left off on so I do apologize for that interruption but after I kind of decided that football at Oshkosh wasn't really the plan and just not something that I was gonna be doing it was devastating for me Having the plan my whole senior year to go to Oshkosh, continue my football career, it was very difficult. So coming home, I didn't really know what exactly to think or do specifically because being that I was always in high school, always had goals based on sports and that kind of kept me grounded, I didn't really have any set plans. I was planning on having football to lean on my teammates for four years and just kind of keep me structured. Um, in terms of stress relief, um, just kind of keeping me goal oriented because being on a team, you don't want to let your teammates down, you got to keep your grades up, things like that. And I was still going to school and getting that aspect, but I was missing out on the goal oriented aspect of being um, athletic and being an athlete that I am and still am. So deciding to kind of move away from the whole football scene and kind of just going towards training more was something I didn't really know if I was going to enjoy because. Training at that point in my life was something that I did because I knew it would make me better at football. I knew I didn't want to let my teammates down. I knew that training was something I needed to do in order to become the best football player possible. So after I kind of decided that I needed to start training again to keep myself in shape to see if I was going to kind of still play football and I needed to stay in shape if that was going to be something I wanted to do. So I needed, I know, I know, I, oh, I knew I needed to keep myself in shape just for that simple reason. So as I did that, I kind of evolved more in the mindset knowing that I wasn't really going to eventually play, needed to stay home, just kind of stay financially stable, and as I kind of evolved with that, I kind of evolved into liking the training that I was doing more and more. So I started out kind of just doing the same agility training that I was doing for football, just kept doing that for a while, and got really good at that. That was something that I kind of was doing all summer for football camp, going into my first year freshman year of college so I was really agile I was really fast and I was really lean and I weighed about 125 130 pounds at that time especially because I was conditioning that summer to pass the conditioning test so very conditioned very agile very ready to run quickness that those, those sort of things so after training like that for a while as I kind of was getting back home getting used to the um, new atmosphere at the community college and just being back at home and the change of plans, I started to change my program a little bit. I started to squat more. I started watching Corey Gregory, which are, if you're familiar with him, he used to be affiliated with Muscle Farm, and he came up with a program called Squat Every Day, and I modified it a little bit. I started squatting around four or five times a week, and I will make a video separately about this because I know I've never really talked about this specifically on the channel, and I know a lot of people would probably be wondering about that, so please leave a comment if you do want to see that, but I'll probably be doing it anyways, but I like hearing from you guys. So I started squatting four or five times a week. I was wearing Nike shoes, I was wearing just normal stuff. I was just doing my thing and I started to enjoy it. I ended up hitting 315 as a PR, which was huge for me. Started really working on my form, really doing my research and kind of learning how to squat better, how to get stronger, and just kind of all these types of training approaches to get different things. 
So this was really the time I kind of dove into that and really started learning and doing my own research, started watching YouTube and started doing things that were gonna better me in the gym and I really enjoyed it. So that's kind of what kickstarted me into enjoying my training, started to do things that I wasn't used to and that was huge for me because I was able to take the goals and the goal-oriented nature that I had in football and athletics in general and apply that to my powerlifting, especially in the squat, especially, and my, my bench, I really was trying to hit 225, and that was a huge lifetime goal for me, and I ended up hitting that months into that, but that's beside the point because a lot of the goals that I had set that summer, I was able to hit over the course of that year, and hitting 315 on the squat was something I never thought I'd be able to do training by myself so being able to do that and then surpass that I hit 405 about a month and a half ago two months ago high bar and when I was squatting at this time I hit 315 with a low bar positioning so if you're not familiar with the difference a lot of times and for myself you're able to lift more with a low bar and since I switched to high bar which was about last summer I have just been sticking with it and I was sticking with it till I hit 405 and now I'm going to continue sticking with it because bunch of different things, my mobility, my body type, just I'm very oriented for high bar squatting and I enjoy it so I love squatting full depth high bar and it's crazy that I hit 405 high bar and like approximately two years ago I was hitting 315 and really just kind of learning how to squat in the form, nutrition, everything. So. That just kind of shows you guys you can do a lot in a short amount of time if you're willing to do some research, reach out to the right people, ask questions, and just listen, guys. The biggest mistake you can make, I think, as a lifter and just as a person in general is think you kind of mastered everything because a lot of times in the lifting community, there's new things that come out all the time. So being able to adapt and listen to what others have to say and kind of use that to your own abilities and kind of use that and better yourself you're able to go a long way with that and just kind of allow yourself to just learn. You don't want to be closed-minded and you don't want to think you know it all because chances are there's a lot of people who know more than you do and have been there, done that, and you can learn a lot from advice and trials and tribulations of others. So that's kind of why I make these YouTube videos. Going back to that subject, being able to help you guys and show you what I've gone through, show you what's worked and what hasn't, kind of steer you this way versus this way on different subjects. I enjoy that. It allows me to kind of reflect on myself and also allow you guys to learn from me. So I'm going to stop rambling about this video because it's about way too long. So hopefully you guys are still watching and if you are I do appreciate it. So drop a like below if you are still watching and you enjoyed this you can kind of apply this to your own lifting and kind of learn something from this. So thank you for watching. If my hands are distracting through this video I apologize for that too. My girlfriend always yells, me, yells at me about that but that's just how I talk. So. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, share it if you think this would help someone out. I always appreciate you guys watching, and thank you once again for getting me to 600 subscribers. We're already at hit 620, and I only hit 600, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. So keep the numbers rising. I love seeing more people watching my videos. It's crazy that 600 people watch my videos. I know there's tons of people with 100,000 subscribers, but 600 people care about my little life in Wisconsin here. But Thank you guys again. Have a good one.